My name is Jenny Davidson and I'm going to talk to the painter Cecil Rice about his work. He's got an open house on just now, so we're going to go in and have a look. Hello, Hi. Jenny. Hi, Cecil. Hi, come in. Got some paintings up here. Great. They're lovely. Cecil, you've been exhibiting the artist's open houses for about 12 years now. Yeah. Why do you like having an open house? Because it gives me a chance to meet a lot of people. It was only by degrees that I thought exhibiting in an open house would be a good idea. And as soon as I started, uh, I found um, A, a lot of people turned up, and B, they were very positive, and C, I got a lot of feedback, direct feedback, about my work from people. It's very helpful information to me, you know. It's good to know what people like, and it can be quite inspiring, actually. People are very generous often. Nice to meet the people who are actually going to have the paintings on their walls. That's right. I'm very interested in mood, atmosphere, effects of light and colour. Many artists are, but I'm, I'm particularly interested in saturation of colour, really quite strong colour, and if possible, a fairly uh, strong tonality as well. I'm always trying to convey a mood, the mood of the place, and I suppose I use the time of day. It's kind of, uh, has an expressive force that I look for. My inspiration is really, uh, well, a lot of it comes from the Mediterranean. I do paint in England, I love painting in England, but also, you know, I was taken as a child to Italy and uh, ever since then I've, I've been completely mad about, about the light there. I think most people are, I, I am, and so you get paintings that reflect that. Okay, so you paint a lot in watercolour. When I was still at school, I became absolutely addicted to watercolour. It was a kind of fascination that was indescribable, really. It would suddenly work or completely fail. Also, uh, from a technical point of view, I don't find it difficult to um, produce strong watercolours. I mean, sometimes people find watercolours a bit weedy, but quite often people mistake my watercolours for oil paintings, partly because I'm using opaque colour mm -hmm. as well as transparent colour. Yeah. So they're not just um, thin, transparent paintings. <laughs> and you've published a book of your paintings, haven't you? Oh, that's right, yeah. This uh, was published by Hallsgrove, um, who published uh, quite a number of art books and uh, in 2006 and uh, it was very popular. Um, it's got a, about 130 of my paintings in it. Um, That's lovely. You know, um, it, it, I was very proud of it I have to say and interestingly enough the edition sold out pretty quickly and uh, I found that a lot of people have come asking me for painting courses as a result of it mm. because um, they seem to have searched it out and found it and, and get in touch with me. Yeah, and where do you teach these courses? Uh, well, I, I actually have them in here. Right, um, okay. You know, not, not very many people at a time, perhaps seven people. Mm -hmm. um, and it's quite like a good, intimate, small gathering. They're a day long each and people seem to like them very much. And where can people find out about these? Do you have a website? Yes, uh, yeah, my website's usually got details and that's uh, cecilrice.com. Um, and uh, hopefully it's up to date. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks very much for talking to me, Cecil. That was really interesting. That's great. Thanks very much for coming.